Today we're talking about something really important, how you're getting into Disneyland and how long to go. I'm Gavin Doyle with MickeyVisit.com. And I'm Jennifer Dedgan with Getaway Today. And we're here to help you plan your Disneyland vacation, maximizing your time and saving you the most money possible. Here we go. So we're kind of talking about planning trips to Disneyland and, and travel. And, and so it's really important we kind of give people a good gauge of how long to visit and how long is the appropriate time to visit and, and the amount of days and kind of the type of ticket to get. Yeah, absolutely, because really, you know, tickets are really the biggest, maybe expense on your vacation right. too. So you want to get it right. You want to make sure, you know, you don't go to Disneyland that often, unless you're really lucky and that would be really fun. Yeah. <laughs> but you definitely want to make sure that you have enough time when you're there. And so we definitely at Getaway Today always recommend staying just a little bit longer than you thought. And we have a lot of hotels we negotiate to get extra night free specials because we think it's that important to at least have that three day or longer ticket. In fact, we in all of our packages include the three day ticket. Right. And we include the park hopper ticket. And a lot of people ask, you know, is it worth it? You know, that's a little bit extra, $30 or so per ticket. But we think it's huge. Um, mm -hmm. If you haven't been to the Disney area or haven't been for a while, there is so much to see at both Disneyland and Disney's California Adventure Park. And different from Walt Disney World, these two parks are right across right, from each other. Right, and you really need to you be able to go back and forth. You can hop yeah. if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> from park to park, they're so close, just a stone's throw away. So um, it's definitely worth the money to have that park hopping um, capacity and to see just a little bit longer. And we offer a ton of ticket specials that are the extra day free on like our 40, get the five day for the price of four. Um, adults and kids prices, we have a lot of specials. And of course, you always get a great deal as well. So that exclusive deal that um, yeah. will make sure that you can save the most. And we really, our job is to save you the most so you can really try to have that ultimate experience at Disneyland. So uh, it, really, I, I like to go through and, and kind of give my thoughts on each length of stay. Okay, so one day really is, you're, you're there, you're in LA already, it's local. It's not, not something I recommend if, you, if you're not going, especially because there's two parks and two kind of sets of nighttime things to do in both parks so you really don't want to uh, miss out on either one of those and with one day you just can't do that absolutely two days it starts to be it starts to be more viable especially if you're if we'll, in which we'll talk about later if you, especially if you do a combo ticket or something like that but it, it still is you're squeezed in you're, you're really forced to do a lot those mornings are really it, it's not as valuable you, you can't get as much done the park off if you get the park off or like we recommend you just can't it doesn't work between the two days. You, when you get into three days, you, you start to be more comfortable. I personally love four to five day tickets because we'll go like four to four and a half days and we'll fly out on that last day, but, but we'll have like a morning in Disneyland and then fly home, um, and, which I think works pretty well. Absolutely. Is that kind of what you found too? Yeah, well, the thing is the longer you stay, the less money per day. The exactly, exactly. So that's really, really if important. If you're getting that four or five days, especially if you're getting that fifth day for free, yeah you really, you got the best value for your family. Absolutely. And Disney really, it's a value. You get so much for your money. They have so many attractions. If you haven't been there for a while, there's more attractions, entertainment than ever before, which is um, you know, really fun to be able, like you said, that even if you want to just go that first night of your stay for maybe a few hours, and then maybe the, before you check out the next day, go for another few right. hours, it's nice to have that flexibility. It's a lot less to buy it in advance than to buy that one more day when you're there, because then you'll pay the full maximum price. Well, what I found is just kind of comparing it to like, anything else so professional sports going to see a professional sport going to see a concert going to even a movie just the amount of time you, you I go to Disneyland for like 16 hours and just go and you spend the whole day there and you're relaxed or you go back like there is no comparison even with the prices going up as they have done in recent years Disneyland is still can be a bargain if you are using it to its full potential and enjoying all of it Absolutely. And I even, see, I'm kind of go back and swim in the middle of the day. Right, no, I, do, I do as well. Exactly. I do as well. So I love that, like, I love to have the relaxing stay. Like, I, I'm with you. I like the three day or longer ticket so that I can go to the park. And also with the three day or longer, you get the magic morning. I love the magic morning. Yes. I absolutely love getting in before And that is only three day or longer, else. right? Yes, yeah. So that's a huge value right there. But um, I like to be able to go at leisure. And you know, a lot of people go to Disneyland and they're like, oh, it was so stressful. I, I was yeah. running the whole time. And like, did you do like a one-day ticket or a two-day ticket? Yeah. They're like, yeah, I'm like, well, yeah, you didn't listen to our advice, vacation. did you? Yeah, so. <laughs> like, it's a lot more relaxed if you do have a little bit more time, especially yeah. when you're with kids. Um, I have young family, 
it's a little bit hard to just be dragging them around. You want them to enjoy everything. And if they see their favorite character, you want to feel like you can have that time to just stop and you know experience that. If you see this cute show come up that, or a parade right. or something, you want to you know you want to plan time for those just magical extra moments. Random little Disney things provides. that you're just not expecting. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You don't want to have to rush by it because I think no. half the experience is stopping and enjoy smelling that popcorn and saying, oh, I'll wait in line or I'll get the pot. Like all, you want to be able to stop absolutely. and not. Just and not disturb a huge plan that you have to get on Indiana Jones and Pirates and Haunted Mansion and all, and and you can do do all of that, but add all this in in addition. So Absolutely. the extra time is really valuable. Absolutely. And on average, the Getaway Today guest goes there about every three years. And so if you think about that, if you're going to maybe only go every three years, right. hopefully you can go more than yeah. that. But if not, you know, it's worth it to spend maybe that little bit extra right. on that trip to get to stay a little bit longer. You're already so flying that, down. Exactly. Yeah. If you're going to fly down, there there's a huge cost already. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So what are driving. your tips I on should, how to I find those tickets and? Um, what do you, you always, you have those buyer bewares, which I like, because a lot of people get, get you know, taken advantage yeah. of ripped off on Disneyland tickets. So what you, are some of those advice? You know, it, it's improved a lot in the last Agreed. couple of years. They, yes. they, Disney has done a really good job uh, adding pictures to multi-day tickets so you can't, what was happening a lot previously was someone would buy a multi-day ticket and sell one day of that ticket and then require that person to return the ticket and then sell the next day. Because like you said, you could buy a longer ticket and then split that up and, and pay less per day and then charge and make a little profit off that. Well, which obviously was against the rules and Disney didn't want you doing that. And so they've added photos to the tickets. So that's helped a lot to kind of deter these people, but it still happens. And so while you're buying tickets, definitely look out that Disney is not in the URL of the website. That's, that's tip number one. If you're going to like Disneyland tickets dot Disneyland ticket deals dot com, that's not an official, no it, you okay. can't buy it yeah. directly. They can recommend some, they could recommend giveaway today, whatever, but you can't buy, never give them your credit card information because they, following Disney's rules, can't sell. Uh, the next ticket, next rule I have is do not buy with someone who requires that you pick up the morning of. Because you may have, like, if you book at last minute with Getaway Today, you will, you have to, you sometimes will have to buy it, pick up at that ticket booth, right? What you really want to watch out for with these other companies is they'll say, meet me at the corner of whatever, whatever. And you have to and watch for up. this for even at Universal Studios and yes, Nashville. They're yes. having the same issue. So you do absolutely only through an authorized ticket window at the park. You yeah. never have to pick it up that same day. Great advice. Yeah. So any anywhere besides the ticket window or at your hotel, don't do it. Uh, then we can go, there's no discounts on one day tickets. There's another downside. There's no discounts whatsoever for one day ticket. If someone's offering a discount, it's just not a real, not legit. Not, yes. the only place you can get a discount are, are through some of the other um, places that aren't available to the general, general public. Like if you're at a conference at, a, at the Anaheim Convention Center, there's some yeah, other some examples, but, but uh, generally there's no discount on one day ticket. And if they require you, this is kind of true of anything online, if they require you to pay with debit card or cash, definitely run away. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> run fast. <laughs> run fast to yeah. uh, get away today where we have yes. some really good deals that I've I have to say, I've wor done, been around Disney in the universe for a while. The deals I was able to kind of secure and work with Getaway Today to set up for you, our Mickey Visit subscribers and, want and viewers and listeners, they're really good. They are really they're good. They're really I agree. exclusive great prices for all of you. And Jen, you can tell us a lot more about Absolutely. that. Absolutely. So yeah, just follow the link through the Mickey Visit to get those um, yeah. that exclusive pricing. But um, we, again, we realize the value of Gavin. He has all those travel tips for you, which is exactly what Getaway Today is all about. Our staff, we visit the Disneyland Resort as a team each year. We see all the hotels that we offer, because really our goal is to save your guests the very right. most money on their vacation, but plus get all those insider tips. Again, same goal, to make sure that you have that ultimate vacation. So we really don't want you to be leaving the vacation thinking, oh, that was expensive. We want you to be thinking, man, that was, they made it as affordable as we could, and right. it was so magical. What a great memory. And so um, besides the ticket specials, we also recommend, um, we have a lot of different ways to save with combo tickets. If you're wanting to add on Universal, Knott's Ferry Farm, right. Legoland, you know, different theme parks. And um, we've got city pass deals, we've got combo ticket deals, as well as um, when you purchase it in a package, we always have um, specials with our hotels that we, we negotiate that are exclusive to getaway today, whether it be an extra night free special or free breakfast, free parking. We know those little things add up for a family. Absolutely. And we want to make sure, we, our goal is for you to get to go every year. So right. It's just it doesn't break the bank as well as um, one of our most popular things that a lot of guests take advantage of is our affordable layaway plans. 
you can allow guests to book in advance, which we love people booking in advance, you get that best deal. But you can lock in your savings for only $125 wow. down. So you know, Disneyland tickets, you know, they can be close to 300 or more. So if you just, you know, put that 125 down, then we give you complete flexibility as you're leading up to your vacation. Right. So, you know, if people are a little short on cash or, um, you know, just want to be able to have a little bit more time, but still have their vacation paid off before they Tons travel. Tons of options, yeah. We've got a lot of options for families, so. And you can find all that at mickeyvisit.com slash tickets. That, that'll take, that's kind of our, our secret link, yes. if you will, just for all of you. And uh, when you go through that, then, then that'll load those special lower prices. Absolutely. And they'll be customizing your package or if you get ticket onlys, um, everything is all there. Or they can, they can call and request too? Oh, of course, yes. Yep, always what, call What's in. the number? And our 855 getaway is our phone number and just mention Mickey Visit. Yeah, and then, we'll, then they can get you those prices as well. Absolutely. Uh, and anything else we want to talk about? No, I think, I think, you know, we should probably talk a little bit more about packages. Yeah, I think and, packages and is included. really yes, important yeah. to, to so, touch on. There's kind of two different types of packages. Um, one is the hotels of the Disneyland Resort, which we love. We both love. They're right. magical from start to finish. Which um, we will go more in depth on. You exactly. can hear more in our video. You click like right here uh, to go uh, find more about the, all the Disneyland hotels hotels on property versus the, those good partner hotels that are around the resort. Absolutely. So just in a nutshell though, they do have a lot of added value in that you right. get the early morning each day. So that's one thing that um, when we're talking about packages, those are awesome. And um, the surrounding hotels, uh, a lot of times they're called good neighbor hotels. We um, call them preferred partner hotels. They also offer a lot of good deals. That's um, where you can see a lot of the um, exclusive offers like the free breakfast, free parking, extra night free specials. And our staff has been to each of those hotels. Yeah. When you're um, either online, we've got a lot of reviews. We really try to make it simple through online booking. But if you call in too, our agents can make sure you get the perfect fit for your family. Absolutely. So um, both of those packages, um, and Getaway Today always includes extra tips. We have a blog that's called um, Packed With Fun that gives you ways to, to save and get excited and do creative activities with your family yeah. before you travel. You know, creative countdown chains, a lot of added value, plus free gifts for your vacation. So you do get a lot of value in booking with the package. Absolutely. So tickets, you know, it's important to get that best on tickets because that can add up quick. But um, adding it to the packages is really the way to, to ultimately save the most on your vacation. Right, and we'll go totally even more in depth. That's more all depth. Yes. on uh, MickeyVisit.com too, with all the in like very specific information. Because Absolutely. what she didn't mention is Getaway Today also includes great coupons oh, and yes, great of course. discounts. That the, the, the Getaway Today, so Disney, Disney kind of puts together some of these packages, right? It, it's some of the other things they'll put together that you can get from any travel agent, or some of them. But Getaway Today comes in on top of that, says here's well five hundred dollars more discounts if you eat at Downtown Disney, which a lot of Absolutely. people do. It, there's a whole you, those are really popular and guests love those because you really are, helpful. You, if you can really save helpful. a little bit of money while you're on your vacation, yeah. you're dining and all the different Absolutely. options, totally huge. Yes, I agree. And all the different, you know, transportation, yeah. um, other attractions, really our job again is to negotiate that best deal. So you can just go relax, have a great vacation and know that you got the, the best savings. So, so helpful. Did we miss anything? I know I feel like there's just... Booking your package, book early too. That's one other tip. That's another I would thing. definitely say. And with all this ticket advice, you know, really, um, tickets at Disneyland do, like you said, they go up some. So that's why I always, you know, say book early because you never know when that price increase will come. Yeah. It's just nice to know you have it on the books. Lock it in. Lock in the savings. One more thing. Okay. Was there? There are a couple other ways you can kind of weave in possible discounts, um, and, and those can all be found at MickeyVisit.com on our tickets page. Uh, but specifically, that kind of comes with. If you consider buying a Disneyland annual pass, That's there are some times when you yes. can get discounts. And, and uh, if like what I've seen happen and some groups do successfully is if you're going for a long period of time and you know you'll be back within the year, then it's sometimes a good idea to have one person get an annual pass because then you get really good, you can get good discounts on food or on, on souvenirs. Or So if you really work it out in your head, I'm going to get a discount on this and a discount on this via the annual pass, it can yeah. be a great money saver. Well, and our tickets, the Getaway Today tickets, can be used to upgrade to the annual right. pass. And where ours are discounted, you get the full value of the ticket, yeah. even though you didn't pay that full value. Yeah, so that's kind so of a little that's secret. That's a good way to get a, a savings on your annual pass. And then also, if you're going with I, a That's user, a great. Yeah, it is. That's a good one. <laughs> a lot of people do that. They buy our tickets and upgrade it. And they do our five-day ticket so that they you know, get the ultimate. Oh, so they get the savings. Oh, ultimate that's a great. savings because they have a fifth day free usually. So watch for that special. <laughs> but um, another thing too is if you're traveling with a youth group, Disney does the neatest youth educational yeah. series. Plus they have group tickets for um, youth groups. So if you're going with like a cheerleading squad, dance group, uh, even like a school 
field trip, homeschooling yeah. group, you know, lots of different options. So we do have a separate group department. I know you have a lot of information on your I website. I do, that's again on the website, that on that whole well. page. So, yeah. That's another way to maybe save a little bit. A lot more. of options. Yes. Absolutely. I do. Main takeaways though, you know, make sure you get that park hopper. Go as long as you can because it's yeah. definitely worth it. And really, you are going to get your money's worth at the Disneyland Resort. There is so much to see and do. You now won't run out of things to do. No, absolutely. There's just, you won't. So I think that wraps up all our ticket information. Absolutely. Great. Once again, I'm Gavin Doyle, and we just had a great time helping you plan your Disneyland vacation. You can find more information on how to save money and all of those exclusive discounts we just talked about at mickeyvisit.com slash getaway today. Right here, click, click on this URL. Or take a look at all the videos that are now around me uh, for other help planning your Disneyland vacation. Finally, you can go to mickeyvisit.com for more information on how to maximize your time and save you the most money. I'm Gavin Doyle, and we just helped you plan your Disneyland vacation.